I'm hanging out today with my 91-year-old father-in-law. I haven't noticed this. Look at there. We've got the same color shirt on, and we didn't even plan it. Well, I'm not so sure what I'm told by. <laughs> he has preached for over 50 years, and there's no telling how many people will be in heaven because of the role that God allowed him to play in those 50 years. We're talking about Scripture and our love of Scripture. You have a love of Scripture, don't you? Yes, sir. Why do you, uh, why do you love Scripture so much? Because it teaches you what's right, what's wrong, and to be an influence for good. That's great. That's great. And it's, it's just a privilege to be a follower of Jesus. Sometimes you fail, but you, you know you fall down, you get up and keep trying. And it's a pleasure to take that precious word and tell others that they need the Lord. That's right. And the results of it and the hope that is genuine of having an eternal home. That's right. Our prayer on day seven in our 12 prayers for 2016 is that God's people will always have a love of Scripture, a respect for the Bible and for its authority, that we will see it as a guide, and that we will hear in it God's voice. That's our prayer for the new year.